This is the brand new 2021 Omni RB34, a 4x4 bunk model motorhome with washer dryer prep. Now this is built on the newly redesigned 2020 Ford F550 chassis and there are some awesome new upgrades for the 2021 model year from the interior, exterior, and on the cab itself. The RB34 comes in at 35 feet 6 inches long, 12 feet 6 inches tall, and 99 inches wide. The RB34 can sleep 10. It has up to 7 seat belts with a private rear bedroom, a separate living area, a dry ventilated bathroom, a huge overhead bunk, and a digital touchscreen control panel with smartphone connectivity. Now let's get started. Now what powers this beast is Ford's 6.7 liter Power Stroke V8 turbo diesel engine that is now in its third generation. And Ford added in some pretty awesome upgrades. So when it comes to diesel motors, it's all about the fuel system. So Ford added in a 36,000 PSI fuel injector up from 30,000 in the year prior, which is going to deliver more fuel into the motor, increasing combustion. Now to handle the added power and pressure, Ford added in a stronger engine block, heads, rods, and bearings. They also added in steel pistons, a lot like you would find on class seven and eight trucks. They also redesigned the turbocharger. It's a variable geometry turbocharger. They've changed the vein structure so you get tighter vein side clearances, which will eliminate any air leakage going in. You get increased power ratings. You now have 330 horsepower and 825 pound feet of torque. Ford also redesigned the grill up front to maximize the airflow going into that turbocharger, which you see right here. The big things here, you get a ton of power, but also this truck can handle 20,500 pounds. So with your 10,000 pound hitch on the back end, you can tow all 10,000 pounds and still be well within your weight ratings. There's also a new 10 speed automatic transmission with selectable drive modes. You have normal, tow haul, eco, and slippery. One of my favorite features to point out about the RB34 is it comes standard with the Ford Advanced Safety Package, which includes lane departure warning and automatic emergency braking. What sets this apart is without a doubt the drive. It's smooth, quiet, turns just like a truck. You don't see the front cap when you're driving. The side view mirrors and cameras work phenomenal. With the 4x4 capability, you have the ease of mind knowing you will get in and out of your campsite where other motorhomes traditionally would get stuck. I've driven thousands of miles in these Super Cs and a few thousand on this new chassis and there is a noticeable difference. You have much more power, but also fuel economy is greatly enhanced. On average, you will get around 8 to 10 miles per gallon. I did a stretch going 65 miles an hour on eco mode on flat land, and I averaged 14.7 miles per gallon. So you can get some very good fuel economy here. Up front, you are going to have an upgraded bumper and fender package, which is going to be integrated with your fog lights, and you still have the Ford bumper underneath there as well and you can see that redesigned front grill to maximize airflow going into that turbocharger. And you have paint protection on the front nose, also on several other areas along the bumper and along the wing walls. The Omni is built on 19 and a half inch tires with aluminum wheels. That's gonna help with rotation, but also eliminate road noise going up through the chassis. You are gonna have a step up going into the cab as well with an entry light. So that way, whenever you open the door and unlock the vehicle, you have some light to get in and out. But one of the coolest features is that one piece front cap that is a one piece of molded fiberglass. It's going to eliminate any maintenance because you don't have any seals up there that you need to maintain, but it's also going to protect that front end of the motorhome for the long term. You will see that big automotive windshield up front, which lets in a lot of natural light into the motorhome itself, and that is automotively sealed to the front there. Now you do have wing walls that are a curved design, which is gonna make it more aerodynamic and eliminate any wind drag you would have on a conventional Class C. And when it comes to blind spots, you get these massive side view mirrors that are power adjustable and you get the towing mirror. And you do have the blinker integrated along the side there as well. And they are manual fold. So if you wanna stow this away and save a little bit more space, you can fold those in. Construction wise, it's a fiberglass exterior that is vacuum bonded and laminated onto the aluminum structure. It's insulated with a high density block foam insulation. You have a steel floor, aluminum sidewall, and aluminum trust roof with a TPO roof material on top. This is the new gray mountain 4x4 
full body paint. It's a Sickens paint, so it's a more premium paint like you're finding on a lot of high-end cars nowadays. Now, this is your Gray Mountain. You also have a Sahara Slate and a Madera Canyon. Frameless windows throughout, and here you can see the new warranty for all 2021 and newer Omnis. You have a six year lamination, 12 year structural warranty transferable to the second owner within 12 months of original purchase. You do get this very large 20 foot carefree legless awning up front. One touch, that awning goes out. And you also have brand new awning lights. They're actually integrated into the arms itself. So it lights up more of the campsite, but you do have the motion sensor on the awning as well. So if you get a large gust of wind, the awning will retract back in automatically with movement but those lights are just sharp. Going down to the actual storage, you have rotocast storage compartments. So this will not allow any mold, mildew, or rust. If you're hiking all day, throw your muddy boots in here at the end of your trip, you can wash it out with a garden hose. All your cargo bays will be lit with an LED light. So one touch through your cell phone app, multiplex controls, or on the switch panels, you can light up all your cargo bays and they are on a timer. So that way you can know for reassurance they will shut off automatically. But here's a better look of that awning when it's fully extended. As we go farther down the side, you are going to see your exterior entertainment center is a 32 inch flat panel TV, which is on a swivel. So that way, no matter where your campsite's set up, everyone can get a good field of view. It's magnetically backed. So when you're not using it, you can just push it right back into place. And you do have a Bluetooth sound bar for a better quality of sound. Then right below there is going to be your LP tank. 68.2 pounds of LP, you can fill it up at any propane filling station. Then next to that is your motor for your hydraulic leveling system. You have a four point hydraulic leveling system that comes standard. You got valve stem extenders for the inside tire and you always wanna maintain your tire pressure and you do have one, two, one, 10 outlets on the outside right here, which are inverted. And then you can see also more storage. You can see your gray and black tanks elevated above the belt line, which are fully enclosed and heated. And all of your cargo bays, they're all gonna have slam latch and side hinged baggage doors. So much easier to open and close. Right there is gonna be your fresh water fill and you have an outside kitchen that comes standard on the RB34. It's gonna have a mini fridge, a sink with a pump, so that way it can pump the water into your gray tank and finished cabinetry. There will be some outlets inside there as well. There you can see your ducktail and your LP quick connect for a gas grill or any LP appliance, and that does have a regulator on it. But now going to the back end, you have a beautiful fiberglass rear cap, which gives a really sharp look on the back end, but protects that back wall. You have a large window going into the actual bedroom area itself. Then on the back end, probably the most popular thing is without a doubt, your 10,000 pound hitch. 10,000 pound hitch with a 1,000 pound tongue rating. And that can tow all 10,000 pounds and still be well within your weight ratings. Now you do have a ladder going up to the roof. It's not so you can have a patio up on the roof, but it's so you can do your yearly maintenance. It's a fully walkable roof. It's aluminum trust, 15 inches off the center. So you have the strength and stability to go anywhere up there. Also, you do have a rear view camera mounted up top with one way audio so you can hear your spotter. But it gives you a very broad field of view and it's located in a nice spot in the cockpit right where your rear view mirror is. So that way it's natural feeling for you. Now, as we go down the side further over here, more storage. There you can see your 50 amp shoreline cord right there. There's gonna be your 50 amp connection, cable connection. And then you are gonna have dual fuel tanks. You get 68 gallons of fuel capacity, 28 in the front, 40 in the rear. They switch over automatically. So nothing you need to worry about. How it's gonna work is when you're driving, it's gonna pull from that front tank first, take a little less than a quarter of a tank, automatically switch over to the rear tank, drain the rear tank, then go back to the front tank and use what's left there. Reason being your generator runs off of that front fuel tank. So it wants to leave you some fuel with you, but also that generator will shut off at a quarter of a tank. So that way you never run yourself out of fuel. Now, right here, this is gonna be your dump bay. So you have the swivel heads. So you can easily swivel it down, connect your hose, dump it. And you also have an outside shower in here as well with hot and cold adjustments. So you can clean off your uh, dump area, but also clean out your sewer hose. You have a black tank flush in there as well. And your city water connection is located right here. Storage as we go further down. Then you do have your furnace located right here. You have a third generation Gerard tankless water heater, which uses about 80% less LP and very efficient. And then further down, it's gonna be your 6,000 watt Cummins Onan quiet diesel generator, which runs off that front fuel tank, powers the entire motorhome and charges your batteries. 
you do have your DEF fill located right there as well. And you do have a gauge for that up on the gauge cluster. And then the other side of your pass-through storage located right here. And then you do have keyless entry going into the cab. And then also the cab entry light. Now that we're up on the roof here, a few things to point out is the 2021 model year now comes standard with a 100 watt solar panel. So you see that right there, that already comes standard from the factory. There's where it plugs in. But also on this roof, you can see that seamless roof design. No seams or holes up on this roof. You get dual 13.5 roof air conditioners right here. You have your skylight into the shower, your 360 siphons. You got your Weingart Connect 2.0 4G LTE hotspot up front. That's just gonna give you on the go Wi-Fi, a secured connection through a VPN. Great if you wanna use finances, you're working on the road, doing some e-learning. Then there's your max air fan vent up front. Now the only maintenance you need to do up here is you have self-leveling lap sealants around your AC's air vents. If you see it dried, cracked, or peeling, just replace the sealant. Really easy to do, just a little maintenance goes a long ways. You need to choose from three decor options in black diamond, vanilla twilight, and waterfall. and two solid wood cabinetry colors in Sanibel and Regatta. Now that we're inside, first thing you're going to notice is that overhead bunk. It's the lowest and largest overhead bunk that Thor offers. It also has a very large skylight which allows a lot of natural light to come in. So whether you're at a campsite, watching the stars at night, really cool thing to have. And it does have a power shade so that way you can give yourself some privacy at night. And you do have the side window allow more natural light in and give you some cross ventilation. And that does have a privacy curtain in there as well to give you more privacy at night. You do have the TV that swivels out and you do have the removable piece that comes out to make getting in and out of a cab a lot easier. The big thing you're gonna notice is the redesigned cabinetry for the 2021 Omni model year. Thor went away from the high gloss cabinetry and put in this satin finished cabinetry Now it's all solid wood and you do have the hidden hinges on the inside but no center styling so very easy to get items in and out and on the inside here you are going to have the sun shades and the privacy curtains in the front living area give you a better look at that cabinetry as well with a look around the inside here so you get a lot of added options with this rb34 floor plan so now the bunk model is a 4x4, you get added pantry space, you get the Ford Advanced Safety Package, and you also get washer-dryer prep, which we'll get to in a second. But going around the side here, you're going to notice you do have the large booth dinette, which does convert down into a sleeping area. The table just drops down, and the cushions go on top, so that way you can easily sleep on it. You do have seat belts on both sides of each seat as well, and you do have storage underneath the dinette as well. Now you have large storage space up above the dinette. So you can store a lot of items, but deep storage. And the solid wood fascia around the slide. You do have the cool styling inside there as well. Kind of makes it feel a little bit like a cabin. Kitchen, you have the solid surface countertops but they lightened up the countertop itself. So it's kind of that white look. It's very modern, something you're seeing more in the residential space. All solid surface countertops you are gonna have double bowl stainless steel sinks. So one for dirty, one for clean. And you do have the retractable faucet head that swivels so that way you can easily wash all your dishes with two sprayers. And then you do have the hot and cold adjustments on there as well. Then you have the induction and two gas burners. You have gas and electric. You also are going to have tile backsplash, which is redesigned for this model year, and the contour convection microwave, which does everything that an oven does and doesn't take up the added space. Thor added in the LED light strip around the countertops, which is a nice cool aesthetic there. And then you always need a place to store your pots and pans. And Thor added in a very large storage space right here underneath the cooktop. And then across from that, you are going to have 
your area for your trash bin. And you do have the pop-up extender right here to give you more counter space. What comes standard in the RB34 is the theater seating, which gives you two nice cup holders and an area to store remotes and snacks, but you can option in the sleeper sofa. So on all four floor plans, you can get either a sleeper sofa or the theater seating. Then just jumping back to the kitchen, you do have ventilation. You have the fantastic fan up above here, so that way you can get some nice proper ventilation in here. And then your fridge is going to be a GE or Whirlpool refrigerator. This is going to be inverted, so that way you can use it without running the generator or being plugged in. But a very large refrigerator. It still has the wrapper on it, so disregard that blue look. But very large here. And then the freezer has an ice maker. And then the added space is you do have this very large pantry space for the RB34. I'll give you a look before we open up every compartment. But five very deep drawers. Just to give you an idea of how deep these drawers are. Store a lot of food in there. But now going back to the bunk area, you do get the bunks here. They are collapsible, so if you don't want to use this for bunks, you can drop the bunk down and just use it as extra hanging space for clothes and just use it as a large closet. And Thor also made this, instead of having the curtains, they put in the solid door bunk doors. So that way, it closes it off a little more. Gives a little more privacy, but also better for closet space. But very large bunks. And one thing you're going to notice is there's no longer any TVs in the bunks. So what people are starting to realize in the RV industry is kids are not using these TVs. They're always on their tablets. So Thor put in tablet holders for iPads, iPhones, whatever it is. So that way they can just put it up right there. Real plain and simple. You do have cable connection there, 110 and USB outlets. So that way you can keep your tablets charged. And same thing for the bottom bunk. But a ton of space. I mean... I'm six foot, I fit in here. It's nice and cozy, you get lights in each bunk as well. Now going back to the bedroom area, you are gonna notice you get a very large walk around queen size bed. Great cabinetry space on top of the bed and you get nightstands on both sides of the bed. So great, if you got a CPAP machine or something you wanna place next to the bed, you can put it right there. You have 110 outlets, USB outlets, you got your radio controls, a nice headboard there. Going around the other side of the bed, nice cabinetry space. Then you do have that countertop and then more storage on the other side of the nightstand as well. Very deep, so you can store a lot of items in there. Give you an idea right here. Deep storage, then deep storage up above. You do have the temperature sensor located right there. The two push button reading lights and then your radios on top of the bed as well. You have a 32 inch TV that does come up for more storage. So if you have a DV player, PlayStation, Xbox, you can put it up, connect it straight to your TV or just use it for more storage. You get a nice window with your bed and then you have a nice countertop right here. You can place appliances. You got a nice 110 and USB outlet right there. And then one, two, three, four, five, very large drawers, just for example. It's very deep drawers for a lot of clothes. But the biggest thing about this is you have the washer dryer prep located right here. So it'd be for a combo unit, but you open this up. If you don't want the washer dryer prep, great. You got nice hanging space for clothes. But if you don't want to use this for clothes, you want a nice area to wash your clothes, you can put a combo unit right here. You have your 110 outlet and you have a panel right there and behind that is where your water hookup connections are going to be. But I'll give you a look at this bed. So I did, get, did not give you a very good look at it. But you get a queen size walk around bed. So easy access, easy to make. But a very, very awesome bedroom here. A lot of changes that really were requested by the customers and Thor listened. Now going to the bathroom. You have a shower door, which is a solid shower door, so no curtain that's going to get stuck to you. But you also have a nice stainless steel sprayer on the inside, which you can manually control.
push it off the water. Just had one of my buddies who was six foot ten inside there, so you get a lot of space inside that shower. You get the stainless steel bowl sink, your main outlet, you get your switch panel, and then you get this nice medicine cabinet with the mirror on there so that way you can get ready in the morning. Below the sink is going to be your water filter located right there for easy access, and then you also are going to have cabinetry on top of the toilet is a porcelain toilet with a foot flush. And this is a fully ventilated bathroom because you have air in, heat in, and air out. Then there's going to be your controls for your tankless water heater. Now right down here will be your solar controller, it's a 10 amp solar controller which has 10 gauge wiring going up to the roof where you're going to have your 100 watt solar panel. Also you're going to have your Xantrex 1800 watt pure sine wave inverter controls. Your step controls, your main power switch, and then the switcher panel. Batteries are underneath the entry steps and then this right here is going to be your multiplex control panel. Controls everything inside the motorhome. Temperature, you can see your tank levels also all of the main controls as well. Cockpit seat is gonna be power adjustable and you do have the lumbar support, the back is manual. You do have the all weather floor liners so that way you can keep it clean up here. And you do have the power adjustable pedals so that way if you got short legs, long legs, you can make it fit uh, a little bit more comfy. Um, you do have your emergency brake right there and then you do have the auto headlights right there. And then right here, that's gonna be your emergency start so that bridges the power between your chassis battery and your house battery, so that way if you ever need to jump on, you can do so easily. You got your fog light controls right there. Then going over the door, you are gonna have your mirror adjustments and your window controls, your locks. But it is the XLT package in the cab. Thor does wrap the seats themselves to match the upholstery on the inside of the cab. So you can see the new upholstery. Then obviously we gotta get this motor started so you can hear it. Now checking out the gauge cluster, there's a lot of different things you can mess around with. You go to display mode, you can see your engine air filter, oil life, see your def gauge, you can see the empty full status, and then the range, 2,750 miles. Uh, you can go down, see distance to empty, you can see both your fuel tank levels, and then you have a kind of overall view up above there. Um, digital speedometer, engine hours, temperatures, lane keeping assist. Um, you can also see your fuel economy, towing, off-road and kind of look at your degrees of angle and everything. Um, so a lot to kind of mess around with. You can go in your settings and everything. Left side of the steering wheel, that's gonna be the controls for the gauge cluster. Cruise control settings on the right side here, that's gonna be controls for your multimedia. You got the push to talk. So if you have Apple CarPlay going or Android Auto, hit this button, works with Siri on your phone, tell it to take you somewhere through GPS, tell it to play a certain song. Um, it's all hands-free, which is really convenient. You got the mute button. I'll make a call, end a call. And what I really like about the steering wheel is I like to hold them right here so that way you get a nice angle, your arm doesn't get tired. But going over here, you're gonna notice you do have the Ford shift on the fly. So two wheel high, four wheel high, four wheel low. You also have the Ford brake controller right below there. And you have great climate controls. They're really easy to grab and kind of change while you're driving down the road. And you do have nice large volume adjustments here, multimedia, and then this is the Ford Sync 3 system. So it is a great system to use. I absolutely love it. It's got Ford Maps in there, Sirius XM, Bluetooth connectivity, but also it has Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. So if you plug your phone into the USB port right down there, and you also see a 12 volt outlet down there, and then you also have that, uh, the new cord that Apple's kind of going to as well. You can actually have your phone up here, your Apple Maps, Google Maps, Waze, if you have an RV specific GPS you like to use. You have your own music, make your own calls. It's a great system to use. Right here, that's gonna be your engine brake, which works through the turbocharger right there. It has two different settings. It has on, automatic, and then off. You got your traction control, obviously your hazard lights, lane keeping assist. The cab itself also has 12 volt and 110, has its own inverter, and then nice storage on the right side there. And then up above here, that's going to be the LED monitor that's showing your backup inside of your camera. So right there, you get a great view of everything behind you. Hit your blinker, 
your blind spot shown so that way you got the baggage door open Let's see if we can go this way yeah baggage doors open over there too but it gives you a good view one-way audio on the back side there also you get nice cup holders inside the cab here so that way you can store your drinks store your cell phone right there and then you do get a nice armrest on each chair as well which makes it very comfortable right there boom and then up top here you do have the auxiliary switches ford adds in so if you want to add like a winch a strobe light something of that nature it's all pre-wired up there and then those are those um, alarm sensors ford puts those in all f-series trucks if you have the vehicle locked and you have those sensors on if somebody's moving around in the motorhome when the cab is locked or somebody reaches in the window the alarm will go off so to deactivate that Whenever you take the keys out of the ignition and turn off the motor, it's gonna ask you all sensors, perimeter sensing. Perimeter sensing turns off those sensors up top. Now, if you liked what you saw here today, like this video and subscribe to my channel. So whenever I do come out with a new video, you'll get notified and you can stay up to date. Thanks for watching, stay tuned for more.